Am I gonna ambush you or are you gonna be a pile of crap and not let me? It's not gonna let me, is it? Uh, dodge! Oh. Not that it matters, you can't open the stupid chest anyway. Oh, I forgot she had poison gun now. Sweet! Hopefully they're not immune to poison. Which it looks like they are. No, they're not. She just sucks at poisoning people? What's going on here? Get your stuff together, woman. Let's hope it's murdered. Eh, yeah, whatever. I didn't mean to toss an antidote, but we'll roll with that nonetheless. Whatever, yo! I'm not looking at you, but we'll roll with that anyway. I'm probably gonna summon again. This fight's gonna be a pile of crap. What else is new? Although they are slowed, I think. Maybe we can get it done without a summon. Although, to be honest, I think the chat would probably prefer the summon be used again, but whatever. If they called something poison, that turned things into fish. I'm not entirely sure how useful that would be. Considering half of the enemies are already, like, fish people, but, you know, whatever. Poison is actually pretty good. Someone in chat said... Rev didn't see it, let's do it. Fine. Although, to be honest, all Rev needs to see is the very end. The rest of it's kind of null and void. On, she rubs her hand across her leg there. random moan, because it's Vanille and she has to moan every time she does something. Foreplay is important. I can call. And now I have to wait for the final to hear the rest of that moan. Because who doesn't like moaning? Come on now. Everyone in the chat loves moaning, but whatever. This thing's actually gonna kill one of these things, I'm pretty sure. At least, yep, there it goes. Oh no, it's not dead yet. Now it is. Well done. You're the only one left. I can just gestalt now and skip to the end, I could. But you all made me use 3 TP, I'm gonna actually use that TP. None of this bollock skipping half of it. Not wasting TP and half a summon. This gestalt mode doesn't make any sense on any of the summons, except for Poden. I think Poden's the only one that makes any sense. Although this one has chain guns, so I suppose that makes up for something. Let's get this done while moaning! Or firing chain cannons, because that makes perfect sense. That's what I'm gonna spam until it dies. Spam more cannons! And moan time. Time to moan. I like how it comes out of that as well. Like how she's sitting, my god, game. Could you have more innuendos, game? Is that physically possible? It did 110,000 hit points, though. And Rev already knows what happened. And I got a moistened scale out of the fight where I used the summon. Getting a lot of moistened scales with uh, Miss Vanille in the party here. A lot of moistened scales going around. Pardon me, I'm leaving. After that, my scales will be moistened as well, yes. If I had scales, they're already moist. Let's not get carried away, though. We need to actually make progress at some point today. Although, to be honest, we've been making progress, but details. Uh, 
uh, I'm just gonna keep skipping fights unless there's a treasure chest in the way. Hello, goodbye. If I can just not do any battles anymore, that would be splendid, but it's not gonna happen. The game just wants to force me into battles that I don't want anything to do with. Although, to be honest, now we can moan every battle, so I suppose there is that going for it. Abyssal scales. We're getting a lot of bio crap, so maybe I can upgrade something when we hit the next save point. Assuming we hit another save point sometime in the next century. There's one right past this event up here. The voice actor for Vanille, what is she doing in like the recording booth? Because she moans constantly. She's the only voice actor that actually moans constantly, and there's like seven female voice actors. Sarah doesn't moan at all. That's disappointing. We walked pretty far today. Let's rest up and start out fresh tomorrow. Plus, Vanille's all worn out from both of those summons back to back like that. I don't know how she can handle that much. Sarah. Dead! Oh wait, she's a crystal. Never mind. I don't think she's actually dead. Feels so far away now. <laughs> Sarah says she wants to talk. She'd probably prefer if you skip the lectures. Hey! Once we're home, what's your plan? You're getting married, right? What's that? Sarah wants to know. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. You are getting married, aren't you? Don't you let her down, you hear me? Don't worry. This tear will be her last. I'll make sure of that. That's all I need to know. We'll see her, right? Don't go there. No room for doubt. You're right. We'll see her again. And soon. You convinced me of that. So stay strong. Don't worry. Does everyone have to cry in this game? And go see her together. I think every character at some point in this game has cried. Why? What is this emotion you speak of? I don't have time for emotions. I have videos to make. Everyone in the game is an emo Asian boy. Does that include... Vanille? I don't think she really fits the definition of that. And we will see if we can upgrade stuff now. And by upgrade stuff, I mean... Hope's Weapon. Actually... Yeah, Hope's Weapon. I can figure out where the little crap is. Like we just we still have a particle accelerator just sitting in our pocket. A device that smashes ions at high speeds in order to release their intrinsic energy. Sitting in our pocket. How do you carry around a particle accelerator? What is this crap? It takes like the power of a city to make it run. How do you carry it around in your pocket? Let's use some of these moistened scales here on Hope's weapon. For oh, save it. Oh, I've already used it now. You want me to save it for the Vanille's weapon? We gotta let Vanille and Hope have some love, you know. Y'all know how it is. How many levels does this thing take? Jesus. Oh, it's not even going to let me times three it. 
Oh, but I have to. I have to, because Particle Accelerator gives a billion experience. Should I save the Particle Accelerator? I should save the Particle, particle Accelerator. Hmm. Iron Man did have a Particle Accelerator in his basement, but that's Iron Man. Iron Man does not care. And we still can't level up stupid things in the blarg. Uh, blarg. Blarg. I'm fully aware that Particle Accelerators do not have to be circular, however, they are not very small. I mean, obviously she's not carrying her one around the one that's beneath Europe. That's, you know... Obviously ain't carrying that one around, but she's carrying something that shouldn't be fitting in her pocket. Just how that works. I don't even know what I picked up there, because I wasn't paying attention. And apparently we're going to Desertland. Desertlandia! For great justice and whatnots, or something along those lines. Another save point? Hmm. A lot of save points around here. We're making good progress though, probably because I'm skipping like 90% of the fights. Theoretically 90%, I don't actually know. Realistic numbers. I am not a... what is that? I saw it already, Hope. Thank you. Suddenly cutscene. So many cutscenes! Sweet Jesus, man. We get through there, and we'll be in Erba. You're almost that doesn't... Yep. How does that pronounce as Erba? It doesn't exactly look like it's gonna be a leisurely stroll. So we just head through this foul sea's lair to get to Erebo, right? What's another foul sea at this point, huh? Okay, so it causes random explosions in the vicinity. That sounds like a dangerous thing. Something about that one, I hey, a teleporter. I have to kill something to enable it, but a teleporter nonetheless. I must triumph over the goblin chieftain in near Dijon's dower. Sure. Why not? That'll let me teleport back to the... It's on the way anyway. Let me teleport back to the Calmlands if I desire. Which I don't, but if I did. That is a very curious creature and a very fast one. So it's probably going to punch me in the back of the head here. Nope. Apparently it's very fast, but it sucks at turning. Yep. Hello, friend. It's like a weird blur going on sometimes. Yeah, they can't turn worth a crap as it turns out. Dodge! Duck and weave! Duck and weave! <laughs> Best strategy ever. Duck and weave for everything. That thing's gonna try and attack me. I'm calling it now. Yep. And somehow got me, despite the fact it's like 50 feet in the air, but... Oh, we're already set up as this. Never mind. How strong is that? I don't know. Capable of what? Inflicting debrave. Mm. Time to debuff the crap out of it. Because I like debuffing the crap out of things, and that should tell me how much health it has. 360, that's not too bad. I mean, it's not nearly as bad as the Juggernaut with 1.4 million from earlier, so there is that, I suppose. Vanille's having issues debuffing this thing. I don't know why, but she's having serious issues debuffing it. I think Fang was as well, actually. Some banging going on in the background there. Here we go. 
I love how quickly we can buff. Feeding Stoop. I forgot they knew that ability. We're actually gonna stagger this thing from debuffs. As Fang makes gurring sounds at it. Oh, it's poison now. Yeah. We almost debuffed it, or debuffed it to staggering point. Just curious. Time to kill it. I think. Probably. Theoretically. I don't know. It's debuffed to crap, so it's not gonna do much. It's slow, de-shell, de-protect, poisoned, and... Whatever the other one is. I forgot what the other one is. I forgot what it does. Probably don't really care. It's gonna die before it becomes relevant anyway. Look at the stagger boost from Vanille. That's a lot. And again, I think everyone's boosting it a lot, but still, it's ridiculous. Max stagger. 44k a hit. That's a lot of damage. I mean, if we could max stagger something like the Juggernauts easily enough, they wouldn't be hard to kill. The problem is they murder us before we could max stagger them. Although this is a pretty good party here. At the moment, anyway, it's a pretty good party. I think we would need to swap someone like Snow in. What are these? Oh, it's the Goblin Chieftain, who apparently has a bunch of friends. And Fang ran off that way. Hmm. This doesn't look like it's going to be a terribly easy fight, but it's possible I could ambush it. If I could figure out where the range was. Now they're going to sit there and bob their head at me in a somewhat laughter ma laughing manner. Laughter manner? Oh, they spotted me. Sigh. We should still be set. Yeah. The saboteur. And we have stuff like Sloga and Dishelga, so it'll make this a lot faster. Goblin Enhancement. I'm not sure about that Goblin Enhancement ability he's using there. Why is she not using Dishelga all the time? Oh, now she'll use Dispel to rem remove what we cast on it, I think. The details. This is a lot of buffing and debuffing going on here, but not a lot of damage on my part. Or theirs, really. I think we need to start going on the offense a bit here. We can heal really easy, so we shouldn't need to worry about that. I think something just exploded randomly. Don't you goblin enhancement me, good sir. We don't need no internet advertisements about Goblin Enhancement. Well, the red one actually knows Goblin Punch. What are these two big ones doing? Buffing everyone? Is that what they've been doing? Well, that one's punching people now. Okay. I kind of liked when they weren't punching people. That was most enjoyable. It's also most enjoyable when he misses because Fang's in the air. Well done. They're immune to ground attacks. Interesting. I probably should have killed the Munchkin earlier, but whatever. A Munchkin Maestro! The Maestro of the Munchkins. And the Goblin Chieftain appears to do nothing but buff. So he's just standing there dancing, is what it appears to be doing. Alright, whatever. Alright, the only thing left is the Goblin Chieftain, which, again, is doing literally nothing, so... Oh no, now it's attacking. Why do I have to talk so much? Because it hurts a lot when it attacks. Let's see if we can debuff it. Oh, it's got a lot of immunities, though. It's obviously not immune to that, though, so hey. Or fog, apparently. Which I forget what Fog does. There's no reason really not to keep doing this for now, because we're staggering and damaging it. Except for when it nearly kills Fang, and then there's... You know, should probably stop. Appreciate it. 
You're welcome. Time to murder it. This shouldn't be a very hard fight when we're doing that much damage and it's not even staggered. How high can we go before it dies? 14k? Eighteen K? Eighteen K was the highest we went before it died. Everyone loves Oreos. Just wanna throw that out there. Everyone loves Oreos. What do we get other than a teleport crystal? Roto Herp Derp. Cross sight. Roto cross sight. I item. I didn't notice there was an item over here. Twenty sinister fangs. I am pleased by this. Oh hi, you guys decided to show up now, did you? Did you have fun on your adventure while I killed a goblin chieftain? I hope you did. There's two of these dudes. I don't know if I can duck and weave past two of these. That was close. I didn't know! I wasn't trying to pussyfoot. I was trying to do other things involving that terminology. I was also trying to run away. Oh, I forgot we're debuffing. Well, we may as well continue debuffing since we're already doing it. They know Accursed Breath, which is bad. They also know that, which is also bad. Hope, oh, stop dying. Storm Conduction. I like how it's just called Lightning, it's Storm Conduction. Heaven forbid something have a logical name, no. Freaking debuff everything. Every fight, debuff everything. A vac is here! Hello, a vac! Welcome! A vac does videos on things that you should watch. Notably dwarfs. Dwarf. 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 Notably dwarves. He does dwarves. And you should watch him do dwarves. I know none of my debuffs are freaking doing anything. What is this bollocks? Revocane was actually in here earlier. I'm pretty sure he left. After after he got his daily dose of vanilla moaning, I guess. Daily dose of vanilla moaning and then Revocane wandered off. Everyone needs their daily dose. This is an unnecessarily long fight. Presumably because these are hard to stagger. It has teeth on its face. I just noticed that as well. It's got its mouth and then it has teeth on its face claw thing. Whatever that is. I don't actually know how to describe face, mouth, teeth thing. Does Hope not know Cura as well? Oh, he does, okay. I was about to say, Hope, you're freaking useless. Is it weak to water? Yes, okay. Wait, they were weak to different things? Is that what was going on there? Because I don't think the other one was weak to water. Day 37 of squishing sounds. The squishing sounds do not appear to be greatly affecting it. Someone kill the thing, thank you. That took way longer than it should have. And didn't really give that much experience either. I am disappointed in you, game. I am disappointed. And back to Corridorville. Corridorville, ho! Population Final Fantasy. What idiot used thunder when it says it absorbed it? It did. It used thunder and absorbed it. <laughs> it took you people that long to realize it was healing itself. Come on now, it should be quicker on the draw than that. Is there a reason it's always day 37? No, not really. Just I always say that. You don't like how she girly runs, Avic. Avak. What's wrong with the girly run? Everyone likes the girly run. Huh? I'm not the only 
only one hearing that, am I? No. Uh, it, it couldn't be them, could it? I don't know. It's weird. Like voices in my head. They're telling me to murder Vanille. I can't make them stop. Here draws the tyrant's gaze. Leave this place at once. We can't leave. This is the only way for us to get through. Please, help us. As Could they not get an actual voice actor? Look for us, and the way will open. Um. All right. That makes perfect sense, and we'll roll with it. That also makes perfect sense. Hmm. Well, that was what kind of elevator is that? You never know. Could be a trap. Could be. Don't see no stairs though. Do you? Nope. This is our ride. Bumpy or not. So we're gonna ride. A, it's like we're we're basically riding Samus's morph ball up a up a spider wall, magnetic track. What were they called in Metroid Prime? It was like a spider ability, right? I want that item, but I think that guy may be in range to protect it. He certainly has a massive range. Nope, I can get around. Spark Bane, we already know what that is. Are there more items or just that one? I must hunt items. Oh, there's one over there. This is basically, this is, well, I was gonna say basically, this is literally a giant tower built on little roller feet that go in circles. <laughs> it's it, a giant rotating tower with little feet things. It's there. There's two dudes over there. Are they guarding anything? They don't appear to be guarding anything. Thus, I do not care that they exist. There's also a bunch of these. There's four of these that are on the minimap, but I can't seem to do anything with them. So I guess we'll just head the way it's telling me to. Got another 30 minutes until I end this set, so... This looks perfectly safe. Perfectly safe. Uh... I guess the second tier? It's the only choice, so... Really what it is, is it's Vanille's bracelets add weight to her arms, so her arms literally just swing themselves like that when she runs. It's not actually her muscles doing that, it's literally just the weight of the little armlet, her bracelets and stuff she wears. It's great. She has a billion bracelets. Look at them, man. Either that or it's just one big one, but it looks like a billion tiny ones. It's kind of hard to tell. But we're gonna roll with that, so... Or am, I, am I okay? No, my bracelets are heavy. Were you not paying attention, Hope? Don't tell me this is like a Final Fantasy XII 700 floor tower, because if it is, I'm gonna be slightly irritated. However, we're gonna get a cutscene, which will make me slightly irritated. Oh, he lives inside of here, too. Great. Fantastic. Hi there. Run away! Run away! Hmm. I wonder what's straight there. Well, that's convenient. He blew up a hole in the wall for me. Thank you, good sir. To continue ascending someone's tower, you must Taijin's tower, you must accept and complete three missions from the three colossal menhirim. Menhirim. We like to make up words. Right at the tower's apex. I assume we can't run through the fire of doom because that definitely looks like a wall of doom. I don't want to take a look at that. 
I'm currently taking a look at the hoop face machines over there. And hoop face you land. Alright, well I guess we'll talk to this thing. Hello, friend! I bring you cookies. Will you let me go higher if I give you cookies? A gelatitan. Gelatitan. They, they could have made that weird to pronounce. They also could have made that a better pun, but we'll roll with it. Where is this at? It's through there. Well, can I get around these things? Hello! Goodbye! No, 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 no. All of my note. Go away. Examine the thing's crotch. That is, of course, how you get information from giant statues. You examine its crotch. Really? You put me in a freaking tunnel with one of those? No. I refuse to be caught in your trap. 